Well, we just finished up two good work days uh, back to back here. Uh, really training camp formatted type practices. We did do some teach periods uh, for future opponents. I uh, felt like the guys uh, really worked well today. I thought yesterday was just average. Um, so we'll turn the page to uh, Mississippi State tomorrow and kind of introduce those guys conceptually. Uh, we will run and lift the guys on Friday, and then they're free to go home after classes on Friday. We'll bring them back on Sunday and give them the day off Saturday. So uh, it's been a good week so far. Um, we've really zeroed in. We had specific objectives at each position on each unit in terms of improvement. Uh, and I think our staff done a good job of um, working on that. So with that being said, we'll take a few questions here. After, after anybody's game one, there's always adjustments being made, even if it's a lopsided win. Do you guys have anything that you're moving around? And does having the bye week make it easier to make any of those adjustments? I do think it's been good in terms of it's give everyone in the entire organization an opportunity to really take a deep breath and quality control, you know, the entire experience. And certainly, you know, there's things that you learn, you know, whether it's, say, moving chapel back 15 minutes or uh, maybe tweaking pregame a little bit relative to um, what we're trying to get accomplished. But I think logistically, We've, been, we've went back and reviewed everything. I think everybody's done a great job in that area. What about the uh, depth chart or anything schematically? Uh, no, I, th I think we'll be basically the same crew. We do have competition, and certainly uh, the guys that started the game and played maybe the majority of the snaps, um, you know, we'll continue to have competition. We do get a few guys back, and certainly we'll evaluate how they practice tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, and next week in terms of some of those guys that are in critical bat battles. When you face a team like Mississippi State, when you start preparing for them, new head coach, no, almost no film. Do you start watching film with maybe Penn State uh, to see what Moorhead might want to do? Is that something you guys do a lot of? Yeah, we've spent, I mean, we do um, summer scouting reports. I mean, we've watched uh, Penn State's offense from the last couple of years and certainly uh, Bob Shute being at Tennessee the last couple of years, you know, we've got a, we do an extensive history on all, both coordinators, uh, special teams included with Joey Jones and uh, the uh, special teams quality control coach that they had there on staff that they retained. So, you know, everybody's got a history and certainly you got to do your due diligence there relative to um, who they are and what their identity is. And certainly it's a little bit different given the players that they have. So. And I think we've kind of seen that just in the opener. So I'll be anxious to see, um, you know, maybe what we get out of them uh, this Saturday against Kansas State. When you talk about you've done some work against a couple other teams, teams in particular or teams that do things that you may only see once or twice during the year? Yeah, just teams that are down the road on our schedule. And then for each of those teams, uh, maybe conceptually things that are a little bit different than what we see throughout training camp and spring practice. And so, you know, just don't, you know, right. You know, things that maybe a pressure that a team runs is a little bit unique. Maybe it's something uh, formationally that they do that maybe we don't do on offense and it's a little bit unique to our defensive players. Really just trying to prevent uh, you know, get a little bit of a head start and there's no confusion in that three-day prep. You know, sometimes you get within the week and, okay, hey, you spend a lot of time figuring that out and then you're a little bit behind. So, I mean, I think throughout summer scouting reports, we've already done this a couple of times already throughout spring and training camp. So, we take the similar approach in the bye week, at, you know, that we do in spring ball and in training camp. Talking about watching opponent film, where where where'd your dad used to go to trade film? Man, that's a good one. Um, we did the diner. Or yeah, something? yeah, we I used to go with him, man. We get up on Saturday morning and uh, get in the old truck and head out. You know, used to, you know, you, I think I was fortunate to see the evolution of the film. You know, relative to the the old. Um, Heck, I can't even remember what they call them. But, um, you know, the film that you hung on the wall, you know, the projector, and then, then transition to the VHS and, uh, you know, then DVD, and now it's a 
digital world, man. Huddle's right there at your fingertips. So we go through the same processes here. Have you, um, have you taken time to think about what he might be thinking about all of this, especially with, you know, what you got coming up this month and then the Alabama week and all that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, certainly when you get a chance to have your own team, you know, you do what maybe he was able to do for a long time. And really what you want is you want your team to play a certain way relative to the intangibles that, um, you know, maybe his teams were known for, you know, and, and I think that maybe we can overachieve a little bit, play with the effort, play with toughness, uh, have a disciplined outfit. You know, those were things that were important to him. What kind of coach was he? I mean, what, what were his, some of his, what did he like to do? Uh, he was an option guy, man. He was a pro eye, pro slot, inside, outside, rear trap, midline, you know, ran a little bit of power, a little bit of toss, um, split in ISO, you know, just the old Tom Osborne, Nebraska, you know, Scott Frost days. Are you going to watch college football this weekend, or are you going to with the family? A little bit of both, probably, you know. Um, I'm sure my wife will have our agenda mapped out, but uh, no, I mean, I, we, we use, we TiVo them all, you know, and, and when you get a chance to watch them, I, I think it's a good experience, and certainly I think there's lessons to be learned within each game as you're watching each game. Were, were you one of those guys that, like, treasured opportunity to, treasured every opportunity to play for your dad, or were you one of the ones where it's like, I just want you to treat me like one of the regular guys? No, heck, I mean, I think just to play, you know, I think is a special um, experience. You know, I, I think um, <clears throat> just playing the game, having an opportunity to compete with your teammates, I think is a is a special experience. And certainly, I told, tell you guys all the time, if I could play, I would play. But uh, I think this is about as close as I can get to playing. So, but. Uh, Playing for him was a good experience for sure. Will you spend Friday night watching high school football with Rudy? Yeah, actually, I plan on going out tomorrow. You know, by myself, I'll go to some local schools. I'll go to a couple games tomorrow night, and uh, well, not tomorrow, but Friday. I'm sorry. Yeah, Friday, I'll be on the road as as well. All ten of our assistants will be out Friday as well. Some of our guys will be leaving out tomorrow night. Uh, some of our guys will actually be working a little bit on Saturday as well, and uh, we'll get back to work Sunday about 11 o'clock.